you were looking at the first Starwood Motors West Coast Edition JK. A few months ago, WFO went out to Texas and met with the people at Starwoods and checked out their operation. And after talking to Tyler and Jason Shear and a couple others, we decided to build the West Coast Edition of Starwood's popular Jeep. So Starwood put their Signature Series exterior coating on this Jeep, along with coating the Poison Spider front and rear fenders and sent it out to us here at WFO. We basically built this as if we were building it for one of our customers. We wanted it to drive perfect every day, where your mother, your grandmother, you put your kids in it, everybody could drive it comfortably, you could tow it behind your motorhome. Then we also wanted something that was capable enough to hit any trail around here, like the Rubicon Trail, Fort Ice, any other Sierra Mountain trails. So the first thing we did is put it up on the rack and took the stock gears out and installed 48 gears front and rear kept the factory Rubicon lockers, factory Rubicon sway bar disconnect. And as we were putting it back together, we put our heavy duty front diff cover, inner tube sleeves and knuckle C gussets, along with WFO's two inch quarter wall DOM tie rod and our heavy duty tie rod ends. Then we installed Synergy's four and a half inch long arm kit. Cut everything off nice and clean. You can't even tell that there was any other suspension kit on it. With Synergy's long arm kit, we always add the 2.0 Fox shocks with remote reservoir and CD adjustable, compression dampening adjustable knobs. We were also lucky enough to get a brand new set of BFG's 371250 KM3s and put them on 17 inch method wheels. We went with some rigid pod lights up here on the A-pillar and on the Poison Spider front bumper we went with a 10 inch rigid LED light, sucked the factory fog lights back in and a worn 10,000 pound winch. As you walk down the side for side protection we used Poison Spider rock sliders. They come all the way underneath and protect. This Jeep also has the factory Rubicon skid plates and we went with a Poison Spider EVAP skid plate. That always is common for that to hit the rocks on the Rubicon Trail. In the rear, we went with Poison Spider's Rock Brawler 2 rear bumper, houses our 37 inch tire. We relocated the license plate to the center of the tire along with the third brake light. And this Jeep has a backup camera inside that wheel as well, which links into the aftermarket Alpine stereo system has LED backup lights in the rear bumper. You can see the heavy duty WFO diff cover and the Fox shocks in the rear as well. So on the inside, this Jeep is simple but clean. Has black leather seats, always easy to clean, get the dirt and dust off of. Gray stitching, Starwoods floor mats. And then as you work your way up to the front, has a 110 outlet built in. Here's the aftermarket stereo system. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, AC. This Jeep also has uh, seat heaters in the two front seats. And if you look up, nice grab handle for the driver and passenger. And here's the S-Pod switch controller we installed, which three of the six ports are being used right now. There is the air compressor switch, the front bumper light, and the windshield pod lights. You have three more switches left over for anything else you need to hook in here, such as rock lights, another light bar, anything like that. As we look under the hood real quick, I'll show you the ARB onboard air compressor and the switch pod control or the S-Pod controller. The ARB dual air compressor is plenty of air for pumping up your tires after you've deflated them to run the trail or pumping up an air mattress for camping, anything like that. So we tried to add everything that any of our customers would want on their Jeep and also keep it uh, synonymous with the quality of Starwood's builds. So if you're interested in this Jeep, you can look on Starwood Motors website 
or you can give us a call at the shop and ask for Trevor and we'll answer any questions you have. Thank you. See you on the Rubicon Trail.